Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud back with another great video. How to enable Cloudflare in cPanel. Kimmy Cloud has partnered with Cloudflare to offer a CDN service with all of our web hosting plans. Using Cloudflare means that loading a web page will take less time, improve website speed, and performance. In this video, we will cover the following. What is Cloudflare? How to create a Cloudflare account and add your domain. How to optimize Cloudflare settings. How to check that your domain is using Cloudflare. And how to review the settings available to you in the Cloudflare cPanel integration. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up your own account at Cloudflare and configure your website for use with their platform. Let's begin. First, what is Cloudflare? Cloudflare is one of the biggest networks operating on the internet right now. People use Cloudflare services for the purpose of increasing the security and performance of their websites and services. Cloudflare has approximately 25 million internet properties or domain names on their network and it's growing by tens of thousands of domains per day. It's estimated that Cloudflare powers internet requests for around 17% of the Fortune 1000 and serves 21 million HTTP requests per second, on average, every single day. At its core, Cloudflare is an integrated security and performance suite for web-based applications. Cloudflare acts as an intermediary between a client and a server by using a reverse proxy to mirror and cache websites and static assets like images. By storing this content for delivery on the closest server to the client requesting the information, Cloudflare is able to enhance and optimize load times. This intermediary design is also how Cloudflare is able to offer a level of filtration for security. By sitting in between the client and the server hosting the content, Cloudflare can detect malicious traffic, intercept distributed denial of service attacks, deflect attack from bots, remove bot traffic, and limit spam attacks. Cloudflare's key service is their CDN, or Content Delivery Network. CDNs are becoming increasingly popular across the internet because they solve one key problem, latency. CDNs typically provide what's known as an edge network. In short, this type of network creates a much closer entry point for data rather than bouncing it between various servers across the planet. Cloudflare has over 150 data centers around the world and hundreds of endpoints, ensuring the least amount of distance between a visitor and a website using Cloudflare, which reduces latency, bandwidth, and page load times. By moving content closer to the client requesting the data, websites powered by Cloudflare work faster. The company's DNS servers also use the same network of data centers. Cloudflare offers authoritative DNS and public DNS resolver services. Both are offered as privacy and speed-first alternatives to those provided by internet service providers. In 2018, Cloudflare launched its free 1.1.1.1 DNS service, which is compatible with nearly any device that can connect to the internet, including your computer, tablet, and mobile phone. In addition to content delivery and DNS services, Cloudflare provides security as a service with DDoS protection, email obfuscation, web application firewall access, and threat blocking utilities. By sitting between the client and host, it can also filter traffic and reduce bot traffic and spam. And that's barely scratching the surface on how Cloudflare works, and we haven't even talked about the menagerie of other services they offer. In the next section, I'll show you how to create a free Cloudflare account and add your domain to their platform. In this section, I'll show you how to create a free Cloudflare account and add your domain to their platform. As you can see, I have my cPanel loaded. That's because the very first thing you need to do is open the Cloudflare icon that's located in the software section of your cPanel. You'll need to scroll down to find the software section. If you already have a Cloudflare account, you can skip this part, but if not, you can follow along while I set up my own Cloudflare account. To begin, click Create Your Free Account. A new window will open. Let's show this window as a tab in Chrome to get it organized a little bit better. There we go. Now, we need to give Cloudflare our email address and a password for the account, 
and then click the blue Let's Get Started button. Next, we'll need to enter our domain name, and then click the blue Add Site button. Cloudflare does offer several paid subscription tiers, as you can see here, but if you look down, you can find the free plan. Just click anywhere in the Get Started for Free box, and then click the blue Continue button. Next, Cloudflare will perform a scan of your DNS records to make a copy of them for use at Cloudflare. When it's finished, you'll see a list of your DNS records has been imported. Have a review of these and ensure that all of your records are there, first of all. And for any records that you don't want proxied by Cloudflare, turn off the proxy by clicking on the orange cloud. When you've finished, click the blue Continue button, which is located at the bottom of the page. Here we see Cloudflare is asking us to change our name servers. For Cloudflare to work, you have to set your name servers to Cloudflare's name servers. As indicated by the steps on the page, you'll probably need to determine who your domain registrar is. This may be something that you already know, though. For example, you may have purchased your domain from ChemiCloud, so you would use the utilities in your lab to update your name servers. We've put a link to the KB on how to update your name servers at ChemiCloud in the video description below. But if you purchased your domain from another company, you'll need to log into their control panel and update the name servers for your domain to the ones given here by Cloudflare. Keep in mind, name server changes can take 24 to 48 hours to propagate globally. However, it often takes much less time, so do be patient. Now, I'll be right back while I update the name servers on my domain. All right, I'm back and I've updated my name servers, so I'm going to move ahead by clicking the blue Done Check Name Servers button. And that concludes this section on how to create a Cloudflare account and add your domain to their platform. Up next, we'll talk about how to optimize our Cloudflare settings by completing the Cloudflare Quick Start Guide. In this section, we'll talk about how to optimize our Cloudflare settings by completing the Cloudflare Quick Start Guide. To begin, beneath the Quick Start Guide, click the blue Get Started button. The first section is to improve security for our site by enabling automatic HTTPS rewrites. This means if someone were to visit your site by typing HTTP colon slash slash www.yourdomainname.com, they will automatically be redirected to HTTPS colon slash slash www.yourdomain.com instead. This setting is on by default, so I'm going to click the Save button and proceed to the next step. Next is to always use HTTPS. You definitely want to enable this so all exchanges of information between your website and your client are secure. I'm going to set the toggle to on and then click the blue save button. This section is to optimize performance. The first way to do this is to auto minify JavaScript, CSS, and HTML on your website. Auto minify means to reduce the file size. This is a great way to improve load times on your website, so I'm going to check each of these options and then click the blue Save button. The other way we can improve performance is to enable Broadly Compression. That's right, I said Broadly, not Broccoli. Broadly Compression is a type of compression from Cloudflare that reduces the size of assets in transit and makes things a bit faster for your clients. This setting is toggled to on by default, I'm going to click the blue Save button to continue. In the summary, we can see that we've turned on automatic HTTPS rewrites, our site is configured to always use HTTPS, plus we're auto-minifying our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with Broadly compression to give things that extra push. To finish, click the blue Finish button. And that concludes the section on how to optimize the performance of your site using the Cloudflare Quick Start Guide. In the next section, we'll talk about how we can check if our domain is using Cloudflare's name servers. In this section, we'll talk about how we can check if our domain has been updated to Cloudflare's name servers. Since we just changed name servers in the last step, let's use the Check Name Servers button on our Cloudflare dashboard to see if that change is now active. Sometimes you may see a message that says to check back in a few hours for an update. However, I will tell you about a little secret I've learned over the years. 
More often than not, if you refresh the page, you will find that the name server changes that you just made have in fact taken hold and your domain is now using Cloudflare's name servers. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting our site. That means our domain is now configured to use Cloudflare. Congratulations. That concludes the section on how to check that our domain is using Cloudflare's name servers. In the next section, we'll connect our cPanel to our Cloudflare account and examine the features available in the Cloudflare and cPanel integration. In this section, we'll connect our cPanel to our Cloudflare account and examine the features available to us in the Cloudflare and cPanel integration. First, we need to return to our cPanel and click the Sign In Here button to sign in to our new Cloudflare account. Once you've signed into your Cloudflare account via the cPanel interface, you'll be able to manage a number of features just like you were logged into the actual Cloudflare dashboard on cloudflare.com. Let's review the features available to us in the cPanel integration. We're currently on the domains page. We can see from the domain overview that our domain is listed and we're using the free website plan from Cloudflare. We can also see under Use Cloudflare that it's active, which means the name servers for our domain are set to Cloudflare's name servers. In the table below, we have all of the DNS records for this domain. We can use the toggle that's in the far right column to toggle whether or not we want to use Cloudflare for this record or not. Keep in mind, some records are not supported by Cloudflare, like MX records. By clicking the Home icon, we can see that we have several other options. Here you have the option to enable or disable the Always Online feature. This feature is really handy because if your server goes down, Cloudflare will serve the website's static pages from their cache. This means that your site is still semi-online and you won't look like you've disappeared into the ether to your customers. You also have the option to enable or disable IPv6 compatibility. This setting will be on by default if the Cloudflare integration in cPanel detects IPv6 support. You probably won't need to disable this unless you have a very specific network or firewall related reason. You can also set Cloudflare CDN to cache static content according to these levels. No query string, which will only deliver files from cache when there is no query string. Ignore query string, which will deliver the same resource to everyone independent of the query string. And standard, which delivers a different resource each time the query string changes. We recommend using the standard level. Note, by default, Cloudflare does not cache HTML content. You can create a page rule to cache static HTML content. On the screen right now are some examples of query strings for each of the different types of query strings supported by Cloudflare. At the bottom, you also have the option to enable or disable Cloudflare Railgun. Railgun is a web proxy system built for Cloudflare, which allows dynamic content for a website, such as the HTML, to be cached, while also allowing changes to the site to appear instantly. Railgun is currently available to Cloudflare customers with the business and enterprise plan or from an optimized partner. This is not a free feature from Cloudflare, and at KimiCloud, it's only supported on select hosting plans. At the bottom, the last option we have is to purge the cache. This can be super handy if you have made some new changes to your website, and for some reason, Cloudflare is still serving the old content. Let's examine the settings by clicking the settings icon. Under security level, we have the option to heighten or lower our security level. The security level you choose will determine which visitors will be presented with a challenge page. We recommend starting at medium, but let's cover the other security levels so that you're informed. Essentially off challenges only the most grievous offenders. Low challenges only the most threatening visitors. Medium will challenge both moderate threat visitors and the most threatening visitors. High challenges all visitors that have exhibited threatening behavior within the last 14 days. And I'm under attack should only be used if your website is under DDoS attack. Visitors will receive an interstitial page while Cloudflare analyzes their traffic and behavior to make sure they are a legitimate human visitor trying to access your website and not a robot. 
You also have the option to control the amount of time a visitor who was given a Cloudflare challenge to complete can visit your site without being re-challenged. Additionally, you can configure whether you want Cloudflare to perform browser integrity checks and encrypt communications to or from your website using SSL. Moving down the page to the speed section, you can enable and disable the auto minify settings for JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. This is really helpful actually because some WordPress themes and plugins, for example, don't support this feature. So if you're experiencing a problem with your site after enabling Cloudflare or enabling auto minify, turning these settings off is a great place to start with your troubleshooting. You can also turn on the development mode, which will temporarily bypass the Cloudflare cache allowing you to see changes that you make to your site in real time. And finally, you have the option to control the amount of time Cloudflare will instruct a visitor's browser to cache files. Let's go back to the top and click the analytics icon. Here you can see the amount of requests coming through the Cloudflare network to our website, as well as the amount of bandwidth, unique visitors, and threats that Cloudflare has stopped. This page also shows you how much traffic you've served over SSL and how much bandwidth Cloudflare has saved you. Lastly, you'll note that in the top right corner of the Cloudflare page, you have the option to enable the I'm under attack mode. Enabling this mode will show visitors a JavaScript challenge in the form of a CAPTCHA or puzzle that they must complete before they're able to access your website. This is super handy if you are in fact under attack by an outside threat. And that concludes the section on reviewing the Cloudflare settings available to you in the cPanel integration. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform, all backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free. We're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If not, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our channel.